This is the best blitz in Madden 23. What's going on, guys? My name's Cody. I want to welcome you to the video. If you guys want to get my 146 defensive ebook, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon. I released this defense, I want to say the second day the game was out, if that. And this has been, stood the test of time, as the most dominating blitz that you can have this year. It's actually much better than dollar for several different reasons. We're going to show you why in this video and what makes this so valuable um, with the latest pack as well again if you want to get the full dime 146 ebook where we teach you not only how to run the blitzes we teach you some new blitzes that we're not going to cover in this video we also teach you how to adjust the defense to defend the the formations that you're probably going to see online things like gun type things like bunch things like u trips things like trips tied in this defense right here is super powerful so um if you want to get the patreon the link is in the description below but let's get on the field and let's show you um why this defense is so dang good so uh we're gonna come out in mesh post and we're going to come out. Um, all you need to do is just turn your uh, zone coverage to match. You don't need to do anything else. If you want to put this on conservative, you can. If you want to put that on play receiver, you can. Okay? Uh, but the play is DB Sting. And the biggest key to this is the fact that of that right there. So you see how these backers are going to put themselves like in the gap for us. Um, that is extremely valuable. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually, you can choose who you want to use her. I like to use her either one of them. Honestly, um, you can make an argument for either one, but the biggest thing that you want to do here is you want to pinch your defensive line. You're going to see that that's going to kind of pop them out just a little bit of a step. That step means a lot. Another thing that you can do here is you can do an adjustment like this, for example, um, if you wanted to stop the running back wheel, this is a great way to do so. And then you just want to pass commit. And what you're going to notice is the pressure is going to scream off of the left. Now, the only reason, the only reason that the pressure does not scream off of the right, I'm going to show you. The only reason why this pressure does not scream off of the right side is because of this tight end flat route. You're going to see he's actually going to block him. But if you look at this, because we're pinching our line and we get these guys out just a little bit, it significantly changes the way the offensive line is going to target to pick them up. So um, we're going to give you another example here. And what we're going to do this time is we are going to put the tight end on an in route. Okay. Just for illustration purposes. Okay. So let's say they do something like that. Again, what you'll see here is you see that we're going to scream off of that left side. Now, the tight end is the one thing that, like I said, can, can seriously kind of mess this up a little bit. Um, if you want to kind of help that, you can base align this defense. Um, the one thing that I want to caution you with base aligning is there's a lot of visu visual tells with that. Honestly, I've been fine with just this defense right here uh, on base align. But you will see, again, that tight end flat route. So the biggest thing is you got to understand that... Um, just baseline is not going to completely solve it. Um, it. The biggest thing, again, with this is, you know, the idea here is that the, you see that, that wide split, and then we get that double edge pressure, okay? This looping animation. The other thing that's really good about this that I didn't talk about, or I talked a little bit about in the actual um, ebook, and I, I think I've sh shared a little bit about it online. This defense is so good because of the fact that these guys on the outside are linebackers. So not only can they be really fast, you can put a middle linebacker down here, but also they can their edge threats will activate significantly better than they would if they weren't. So you could do something like this, pinch your line, and then um, you know we're just run the defense, and you see how we're screaming off both sides. Really, really valuable. Okay, so. They're going to have to block somebody. Obviously, uh, typically it's going to be uh, typically it's going to be the running back. So you see here, here's a blocked running back, and you see the looping ang angle that we get off of that right side dude. Now, um, the other thing I want to say really briefly about a blocked running back in this year's game: contains can be very, very powerful for dealing with a blocked running back. So you see here, just like last year, you see he's going to come right through the B gap, you know, just like that. Okay, we're only sitting five. So there's a lot of things that they have to do to stop this blitz. They have to slide protect. They have to ID. 
Um, you know, there's a lot of things that they're going to have to do uh, to stop this. Another thing that is really valuable here is just literally bringing this guy right off the edge, just like this. And then from there, you know, again, just kind of adjusting out of this. You know, and if you can get that guard to suck inside, that loop contain will oftentimes come around the blocked running back. So really powerful defense, in my opinion. Um, there's a lot more that I could say about this that I'm not going to say in this video. Um, you know, but just know. And if they're blocking the running back consistently, send that linebacker off the right side, and you should get that um, You should get that, um, that nickel corner or that slot DB to come in. Okay? So, again, just simple. simple. You can spread your linebackers if you want to. Um, you know, if you wanted to kind of make it a little bit more spread out, uh, you can do that. You'll see it's going to scream off that side really nicely. Another thing that I think is underrated uh, would be to use her this guy. Um, and the reason why is because we're going to build around the really powerful pressure that we have over on the right side. So, you see here, this little form... Like, you see the good pressure we get there? So the beauty of that is I don't have to, um, you know, I can now take my slot corner and put him in coverage. So I can put this slot corner in coverage on the slot receiver. I can put the safety in coverage on the tight end or drop him in a zone, you know. And then on the left side, I can play my scissors concept to stop the running back here. So I'm kind of bracketing the tight end. We're only sending four, or uh, we're only sending five, I think. Yeah, five. And even if they block a running back, a lot of times it's it, picked it up there. But a lot of times that running back will suck inside to the blitzing linebacker. And we'll be able to get pressure that way as well. So, you know, just kind of something to uh, just, just wrestle with this. I think that this has, uh, this defense at this point uh, is, is probably the best pressure um, defense that you can you can create because you can create pressure in a lot of different ways um, and as you see how powerful those slot DB blitzes are even if they pick them up you'll see because they're coming in so fast and because they're pushing the pocket um, you know a lot of times they can be in a really good position so anyways um, this is the dollar or not dollar um, the 146 uh, little principle and how good this can really be um, if you're trying to stop bunch. Really powerful defense. Okay? So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the whole 146 ebook, uh, we show you how to stop the run in this. We show you how to stop everything in this formation. Uh, the link is in the description down below to sign up for our Patreon. Ten bucks will get you access to all the ebooks and all the updates to those ebooks uh, that we'll release as well in any new ebook. So if you want to get access to that, we got four or uh, 15 offensive and defensive ebooks in the membership as of today, and we're continuing to update stuff post patch for you guys. A lot of content uh, is coming in the Patreon, so make sure you're in there. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.